Hello YouTube, I came across something interesting. So I was in the process of making another one of those Bytori transformers uh, and um, so I had a, a split a split core, so th there's a U core right there and another U core right there. And then I have uh, these uh, spools of 23 gauge copper on these uh, U cores. And basically it's another one of these pole circuits, but see. So, um, see the light lights up without the, um, the U-core being complete. So the flux travels through the air. And as you can see, it lights up the light bulb pretty brightly. Let's see if you can see. Okay. See, it lights it up pretty brightly. And um, the interesting part is it actually gets dimmer when you bring the U-core the together completely. But uh, first, let, let me show you what happens if you touch one side. So this is another, it kind of resembles like the Edley Scalman's PMH, see it's a U-shape, so it's touching on this side, but it's open on the other side, and that's when the light bulb appears to be the brightest. And then when you bring it together, it gets, it gets brighter and then it goes really dim. I shouldn't say really dim, but it gets dimmer. So, um, I thought that was rather interesting, so you see the closer you bring it brighter it becomes, then it becomes dimmer a little bit. So, flat flux is traveling through the air, it's a... So, uh, it has to be pointing, the two cores have to be pointing at each other. See, nothing. Brighter. And, um, I found something else that's rather interesting. So, I have this, this centerpiece and there are um, two, there's um, one layer wound clockwise, one layer wound counterclockwise and let's see what happens when we bring this uh, this piece into the circuit so let's see okay. okay so I just brought it into the circuit It actually blocks the flux, see? See, there's no more effect. So, so the flux, flux is in, 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 ends up tra being trapped in here. But um, if we, uh, so I labeled clockwise and anti-clockwise with a C and A. So let, let's see what happens when we short out the anti-clockwise core. So, so all I'm doing is I'm shortening out the anti-clockwise coil with itself. So let's see. As you can see, the flux is now being uh, let through. The, this core is still being held in place. It's being held in place, but the flux manages to get through to the light bulb. See, you disconnected flux is gone. So all I'm doing is short. I'm shorting out the anti-clockwise coil in there. See, and some of the flux ends up going through now. Now let's see what happens when we short out the clockwise coil. So that's the other coil that we have in the middle. Let's see. So here we go. Okay. Okay. Okay, as you can see, the light bulb got get, got brighter still. Okay. So I'm un unshorting the anticlockwise. See if you can see better. Okay. See. Dimmer. Brighter. So so now this coil is shorted out double. Clockwise is shorted out and anti-clockwise is shorted out. So and, and it gets brighter uh, when you short out the second the anti-clockwise. So what does this what does this indicate to us? You know what's what's the point of this exp ex experiment? 
uh, I think it it validates that there's two particles involved in um, magnetism. So one particle is moving clockwise, the other particle is moving counterclockwise. So if, if you um, uh, you have to short out both of them for both of them to get through to this to this core. So um, I found that rather interesting. For my final round with this experiment, I decided to short out the middle coils at least Kalman's way. So I short out anti-clockwise with clockwise, and um, now I'm gonna short out the other side. Let's see. So as you can see, the light bulb gets lit again. Magnetism holds it really strong on this side, and really weak on this side. Let's see. This and um, I connected the leads of the voltmeter across the, these terminals here. So as you can see the light bulb is lit. It's uh, 120 volts, uh, 5 amps, 5 watts, I'm sorry. See, and there's a different light bulb, as you can see. See, it lights this one really brightly as well. But let's see what the voltage is for this thing. So we're running. 2.2 volts AC. So how is that voltage dry, uh, lighting this light bulb? I think that's rather interesting. Let's see. This amperage. So I, I really don't, I'm not sure again what's going on here. Why it's so little volts. Anyway, we're going to keep investigating.